Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have a Schlage Everest, most notable by its little mountain icon right here. Uh, don't confuse it with the Primus, uh, the one with the finger pins. This one is not really high security. It has all standard pins, uh, six standard pins with one little check pin down here that you have to lift up. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up and show you. Show you what's inside. Click on five there. One. Five and four. All right, I don't feel one, two. Go all the way in the back. Let's check six. Thought we had six, but let's double check. Okay, let's check our check pin. Okay, that's not it. So let's continue. Check one. I didn't have a problem. Okay. Not setting one correctly when I'm using top of the keyway. So I don't think we gotta click out of three there. There we go, three. Jeez, way up there. 
All right, there's our open. So yeah, we had our check pin. That was like um, in middle of picking it is when we had to set our check pin, not before or in the end. So this is something you have to look out for while picking it is when the check pin will come in play. But um, let's see if we can go ahead and take this apart and gut it for you. Depending on how long the gutting here takes, I might cut or just fast forward it. We'll see. But here is our bidding. You see, there's a pain in the ass bidding there. You know what the good tolerance is that makes it even harder. And not knowing when that check pin comes in play, but again, not high security. So. There we go. Oh yeah, so this one is put in here by an adapter. <laughs> I prefer my locks inside of padlock bodies. It's such a much more satisfying open. There we go. So by adapter, this is what I meant. So you have the top adapter right here. That way you can fit it in the padlock body like that. So otherwise, here's our core. And we'll move our tailpiece detent right there. And ooh, be careful of pushing it out too quick. Shoot. <laughs> I think I just dropped all the drivers into the keyway. So there we go. Fixed. And I'm trying to remember. Okay, I think the detent is on the back right back there, so it shouldn't be a problem either way. If the detent falls out, it's cool. Oop. There's a spring for our teal piece detent. Let's not lose that. And there we go. So... There's one. Two. Here's yeah, one like down here too. Three. Five. Here, I'm trying to hold that deep to that check pin in like it matters. It doesn't. Here we go. There's that. Here, which way was this? I pushed it out that way, so this is the front. I need to remember that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just move those out of the way. So yeah, as you can see, all standard pinned, uh, nothing special in there. Um, the most special part about it really is the, uh, the bidding on the key here. So there's that, and the check pin right here on the opposite side. So here's our check pin right there. And let's see if we got, where's our, 
basically when we're sticking our pick in here, it's going back, you can see right there at the end of the piece there, Let's see if it, there we go, focus. At the end of the piece right there, that is the lip that you're lifting up on the end of that check pin there. Sorry, a little hard to focus on that. So yeah, you're basically sticking this in underneath right there and it'll lift that up. So that is it for our in fact here. So we can demonstrate real quick, knock all the rest of the springs out of this. So there's the front, there's the back. Line our check pin back up, stick it in here. And so you can see on the bottom here, here's our check pin. The spring pushes it down in there, so our core cannot turn. There's no pins, nothing else in here. And so when we stick our pick down through this boarding right here, all I did was shape shape it to a shank just tall enough that way it just slide underneath there a little angle right there so it slide underneath it stick it in there it'll lift it up and there you go and that is it that is our schlage everest all right everyone thanks for watching